Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. What we have here is a 2000 Chevy S10. It's a four-wheel drive. It's a two-owner. And it only has uh, just under 54,000 miles on it. So this was owned uh, locally here. Unfortunately, uh, the gentleman uh, passed away. And it went to his daughter. And she didn't want it, so she brought it to me and... We've fixed it up and have it ready for sale. I usually do take uh, stickers off cars when they come in. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this too well, but I left this one on here. It's too cool to take off. I'll let you take it off if you want it, but U.S. Submarine Veterans, World War II. So that's the type of owner that uh, had it. Going through the mechanical inspection, everything came out looking great. Fluids clean. Uh, change the oil, brake test, wheel bearings, etc. Underneath is flawless. There's no rust. Doesn't look like this thing's ever been driven off road. I'm sure it has, but uh, uh, all the panels are absolutely perfect under there. Beautifully painted, factory paint, etc. So this one is a super cab or extended cab, uh, three door. The door that swings is on the driver's side with one jump seat in the back facing sideways. So it's basically just a good uh, extra piece of storage. You do have the matching shell on it, but it's non-smoking. The interior is gorgeous. No rips, tears, stains. The panels are perfect. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. The dash is flawless. As you'd expect with uh, 53,000 miles on it. I'll run through and point out some, uh, some flaws. That's the nice thing about this is with the videos, before you get into the dealership, you can kind of see what you're coming into. So a few rock chips on the hood. I should show those before I prop those up. So it's Idaho, we don't use a lot of salt, but we do have some rock chips. Six cylinder engine, very capable, 4.3 liter. As I said, everything underneath certainly works good. The uh, front grille I had taken off it was sun faded, so we had that painted up. But your headlights are uh, sharp and clean and clear and intact. Brand new tires, as you can see. The other ones had plenty of tread, but they were dry rotted just from, uh, from age, so those are gone. There's a few scratches down here. You can kind of see those. They were touched up at some point, so they don't catch the eye so much, but those are there. Be aware of that. The clear coat on the truck, we've got no issues. You can see in the top there, it's not sun baked. Real nice paint on the truck. On the, uh, on the shell itself, you can see some uh, clear coat degradation. A little damage there. So be aware of that. I do have two sets of keys and uh, keys for those locks as well. So this you can either use or take out. It's not drilled into the bed. It's all just uh, built onto the plywood there. But uh, pretty handy. You can put another piece here if you want on the sides and make it a, uh, a bed back here slide out compartments on both sides and it's hinged as well. A little bowing up there, just that trim. But just a clean 
clean, mechanically sound truck, as you'd imagine, one with just under 54,000 original miles. I'll go ahead and start up the engine here so we can listen to that. I don't think I mentioned before, but it is an automatic. There's the miles, 53,822. Four wheel drive on the push button. AC, CD player. AC compressor, AC belt, kicking on. So a couple, a uh, few flaws, mostly with the uh, with the top there, the topper, mechanically very sound, fresh tires. So this would make somebody a great truck for not a lot of money. You can contact me, Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, 208-721-1973. Let me know you're interested in this one and we'll set up a time to, to do a test drive and uh, sell you a truck. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's Shep here at Sun Valley Auto Club. 208-721-1973. Thanks for watching.